For God's sake, Victor, of course it's a trap. If I was Guba, I'd be ashamed of something so obvious. We must negotiate. There's too much at stake. Guba's not going to waste this chance, even if you show ten white flags. Trust me, I'll come up with something. Papa Bear, this is Eagle One. We're moving out. Wish us luck. Out. Пошли, пошли! Кто не из ударной группы, убирайтесь к черту. Остальные подтягиваемся. Подтягиваемся! Есть, товарищ полковник! Второй взвод! Марш! Давыдов, ты что там копаешься? Ну-ка встать в строй! Без приказа не стрелять. Когда прикажу, не промахнись. Цель в радиусе поражения. Доложите ситуацию. Взял на прицел. Жду приказаний. Прием. Позицию не менять. Конец связи. Сто метров. Я его возьму, товарищ капитан. Семенов, ждать приказа. Конец связи. Огонь! Товарищ капитан! Мать твою, огонь! Нет! Враг обнаружен на... That morning, when it all began, was cold and dark. A sign of the dark times ahead. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Damn. You ready? I can only take you as far as Petrovich. That won't be a problem. Peter should have fixed my motorcycle. And if not, <laughs> I can always take a bus. Can you come around this afternoon, Vicky? Our TV's gone crazy again. Don't think so. I'll be staying late in the office. Maybe tomorrow, but I can't promise anything. Well, okay, but I really need it by Saturday. I've got to see that hockey match. Hey, hold on. Stop for a minute, will you? Hey, Liz, how are you doing? Can I get you anything in town? Hi, Vicky. No, I'm okay, but thanks. I'll be in the office today, so if you change your mind, just call me. Thanks. Okay, take care. See you later. How long has it been now, Victor? Two years? She's still got that look about her. Two years, and she can't let him go. Damn it. I could have saved him. Adam's death wasn't your fault, Victor. It wasn't anybody's fault. Take care, Tom. And thanks. Hey, Victor, I finally fixed it. Good as new. Make sure you get to a gas station before going too far, though. There is not much gas left. There's one just on the road. I know the way. Should be okay. Thanks. I'll stop here by the end of the week, all right? Sure. Drive safely. We're back with a news update on the political crisis which is rocking the National Coalition government. Joseph Potochka has the latest. Citizens, today, August 21st, the National Coalition has finally collapsed. Vice Premier Ostrovsky of the Nogova Communist Party has resigned and asked the entire government to follow his lead. He claimed that representatives of the Socialist Reform Party were trying to establish a capitalist regime of corruption and unemployment and urged revision and rejection of the last three years' economic reforms. All communist ministers followed the Vice Premier's example and left the government. They also requested the resignation of pro-reform President Novak, former Vice Premier Ostrovsky, and three other leading members of Novovo and the Communist Party then went to Moscow to meet with the General Secretary of the Soviet Communist Party, Leonid Brezhnev. The purpose of their trip remains unknown. We'll keep you posted with the latest news. Stay with us. Thanks, Joseph. And now back to the music. This can't be right. Maybe things aren't as bad as they make out. But why have they gone to Moscow? It doesn't sound right. Remember what happened 30 years ago. Hey, Mr. Troska, you know anything about this? I'm sorry, I don't. I really didn't expect this. I guess we'll find out more soon enough. Let's hope for the best. I have to go. Can't you go any faster? I can't be late, you know. Calm down, please. We're dead on schedule, and I can't push this heap any harder or it might fall apart entirely. And then we would never get anywhere. Keep it down a moment, would you? This could be important. 
What the hell's going on up there? Maybe things aren't as bad as they make out. But why have they gone to Moscow? It doesn't sound right. Remember what happened 30 years ago. Hey, Mr. Troska, you know anything about this? I'm sorry, I don't. I really didn't expect this. I guess we'll find out more soon enough. All change, please. I spent a long time thinking, just wandering around, as if I knew something important was going to happen. Like I was afraid of something, but couldn't work out why. Suddenly, I realized I was late for the office. I hitched a ride into town. Good morning, how are you today? Terrible weather, isn't it? Have I any letters? Yes, you have everything on your desk. Thanks. What would I do without you? Hey, Liz, it's me. Yep, fine. I had a little time, so I rang you. Definitely. Yes, that should be fine. The day after tomorrow, then. Take care. Me too. As some of you already know, a contingent of Soviet troops has entered our country. Please hold on for a message from President Novak. Dear fellow citizens, our country is at a crossroads. The Communist Party leaders have turned their backs on our Constitution and all the principles of our democracy. They have betrayed our nation to the Communist leaders of the Soviet Union. A large number of Soviet troops from Kuglijev have landed on our island. We can't stop them. Our militia forces are ineffective. Accordingly, I have ordered all our units to surrender and lay down their weapons. I ask you all not to provoke the Soviet soldiers to avoid unnecessary violence. Return to your homes and, for your own security, remain there. I have requested the international community to take action against this occupation, this act of unprecedented aggression against our sovereign state. Dear fellow citizens, help each other in this testing time for our nation. The truth will win out. I felt dizzy. I hadn't expected this. Not now. Not here. Not after everything else. Comrades from Nogova Republic, we are not your enemies. We are here to help you establish a new socialist order. Remain calm. Return to your houses and cooperate with our troops. Be sure to follow our instructions and all will be well. A curfew will be established in all towns and villages. Our troops may need to use some of your properties to support our mission. We urge you not to resist or we cannot guarantee your safety.